I'm live. Oh my gosh. I'm live on YouTube. Are you guys here? Um, I'm so excited to have fun with you tonight. We're going to do um, some basic, easy foodstuffs, and then we're going to do some crafts and things. You see, I have everything laid out here. If you comment early and you stay and comment later in the show, you'll be entered to win <clears throat> one of the by middle of nowhere merches, maybe a kindness love chicken, that kind of thing. So I'll be sending out a um, free treat at the, uh, you know, at the conclusion. I This, I'm not used to all this stuff behind me, but, you know, you can normally see sometimes I have red, sometimes green. Anyway, um, so thank you for joining me this evening. I'm excited to be here with you and, you know, bless you all for coming and being part of this journey with me. So I want to tell you, whenever I do cooking or crafts, I always throw a uh, tea towel over my shoulder. Hey, Lulu. Can't you can't see it? No. Oh, my gosh. Why can't you see it? You can hear you. You can hear me, but my is my camera on? Is my camera on? You guys, is my camera on? You're supposed to be on both. Am I? Wait, wait, wait. I don't see my camera. You can see. They can see. You can see. Lucy says you can't see. You can't see. I'm looking. You can see me? Okay. For some reason, my daughter couldn't see on her on her settings. It's all right. Okay. <clears throat> Let's get started. Those are oddly placed, but you know, you're going to get one of those things. I think I'll move them. Yeah. We'll just... What? Well, just... No. Anyway, you're getting one of those if you uh, comment early and stay late. So here we go. <clears throat> I'm excited to show you how to make pie crust. Listen, American pie crust is a lot less testy than like European pie crust or pie crust in the rest of the world. Um, everybody's afraid of making pie crust. What I tell people is if you're buying pie crust from the store to make any kind of treat, you are totally failing yourself because pie crust is wonderful and easy. And let's say you're a teenager or a young adult at home and you're like, I need a treat. I'm telling you, you don't have to make the whole pie. Just make the pie crust and I'm going to show you how to treat, make a treat out of it. So this week we're doing easy like crafts and easy cooking stuff. And then next week I'm going to show you how to turn those things into a little bit more difficult skills. Okay. So Let's get started with my favorite thing to make, which is pie crust, because my mom was like a genius at pie crust. The very first thing I ever made in my life was pie crust. She told me I climbed up on the counter and I got all my materials down and I mixed it together. And she said, you're like three years old. I said, I love pie. I'd seen her make it so many thousands of times. But here's the thing about pie. <clears throat> you make pie when you're happy. And bread when you're upset with somebody. Because pie is one of those things, it's like a light crust. And you don't want to like knead it up too much. Bread, you pound that stuff, right? So we're going to be making pie crust because I'm happy. It's almost Christmas time. I'm excited to hang out with my family. And, you know, it's let's just get started with pie. So, uh, oh. all right. These bowls kind of echo a little bit. I've noticed when I talk, so uh, I've tried to. So pie, I know by heart. And Brian was supposed to fill up my flour. Oop, he filled up my flour. So I don't know where my salt is. I think my salt, my salt is hidden. And so is my, I had everything out. Where is my Crisco? Did you go find me my big thing of Crisco? I don't think it ever got down here. I think it's in the kitchen i got so many things to do tonight. So listen, pie is easy, but you have to follow these steps. Pie, you start with two and a fourth cups of flour. So my mom was a stickler about measuring things when it comes to baking. Because you have to get the ratios right. When it's cooking, you can kind of throw things in. But what I do and what she taught me to do was I stick a knife in to make sure all the air bubbles are out. And in America, we still measure by like cups and stuff. I need a little bit more by cups and things. Um, we don't weigh our ingredients, which is bizarre, but we don't. So then what I do to make sure it's more even is go like this. 
and then I've got an even cup. So that's one cup. We're going to do two and a fourth cups of flour. And I'm going to make a big old mess tonight and you're going to enjoy watching me. So I like to tap instead of like push the knife in because it's just as effective. So we're going to go like that. Two. And then we need a fourth of a cup. We're going to do the same thing with the fourth of a cup. This is, I'm telling you, this is, you're going to love this treat because it's so easy. There's only four ingredients in pie crust. Why would you ever buy a pie crust? I'm going to tap it down. Tap, 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 tap. Off two and a fourth cups of flour. Then I'm going to put in a teaspoon and a half of salt. So my mother used to say I salt my pie crust too much. It's probably because I put a little extra than one and a half. But I didn't care. I like a little salty pie crust. But for this purpose, I'm just going to use a teaspoon and a half. So here's a teaspoon. Notice how I'm not measuring over my bowl. You got to measure off to the side because you never want you know what I'm saying? If you overflow into your bowl, you've screwed up your whole recipe. So one and then a half teaspoon of salt. I'm telling you, easiest recipe ever. Half teaspoon salt. Now, some people eyeball it and go like this. It's okay with, with salt. Okay. Then I'm going to mix this up. I know there's only two ingredients, but you got to mix it up first. So I'm mix this up like this, and then I'm going to take half, uh, oh wait, a third of a cup of this mixture out, okay? About a third, it doesn't have to be that exact. And we're gonna put that in another bowl to the side. And then we're going to add a third of a cup of water to that. Now, I know this is a cooking show from my basement because my dang, Kitchen is like a half a buck kitchen. So I'm going to put in a third of a cup of water into that mixture. And then I'm going to, where my fork go? Then I'm going to stir this up like this. Okay. And then stir that up. All you need is enough moisture to get to stick together, which is great. So I've got a third of a cup in there. All right. I'm going to set this off to the side. And this is my favorite part of American pies. The world uses butter. Butter is too hard for a beginning cook. It's, it's too finicky. It'll bleed out. It's just messy. So Crisco, first, I was developed for some weird reason, and then they started selling it to American cooks, and then we all decided to use it in pie. I, it wasn't intended to be a food stuff at first. But here's the deal. It is so fun. Now. This recipe calls for what my mother used to call a short cup of Crisco. And when I was a child, I was like, what do you mean by a short cup? Well, not, not a whole cup, but how short of a cup? Like how, how much shorter than a whole cup? But if you use your brain, like it's not seven eighths of a cup or it'd be seven eighths. So somewhere between seven eighths of a cup and a cup is a short cup of Crisco. Now, a lot of people don't like Crisco. I, it's just so much less finicky than butter when it comes to making a pie crust. I'm telling you guys, it's just awesome. So we're going to put in a short cup of Crisco. So we're going to push it down. And again, we've got to get those like air bubbles out. Squish it in. Ugh, I'm squishing using my spatula. Squish. I'm going to show you what I think a short cup of Crisco is. So, oh, but see, there's still air holes. Can you see? Can't have the air holes. So I may have to get out a knife. Squish the air holes out. I know it seems like there's extra steps, but if you don't do this stuff, sometime you're going to have half a cup of Crisco or just not going to measure right. You got to do that stuff. So I still think we need a little more. Okay. I would say that it's pretty much a short cup. So see, it's not quite, it's not quite to the top and there's kind of a little extra air. I'm going to put, but that's just a short cup. It's not quite a cup. So all I got to do this first bowl, which I, you know, took this stuff out of this first bowl with all the flour and a little bit of salt in it. I'm going to put that in here. Woo. And swap off my, my uh, thingamajig, my spatula. So <clears throat> that's it. Four ingredients. Now what do you do with it? So. When I grew up, my mother made me 
cut in my Crisco. So she literally made me sit on the floor because I was little and do this and cut it like this. So it got cut in, but we're, we're not going to do that because it takes forever. I'm going to, I know she just made me do that. So that, um, I know she, I know she made me do that. So just to give me something to do to keep my mouth shut or keep my hands busy. Cause she's called me a bull in a China closet and everywhere I went, there was a mess. So this is just one thing she had me do. Um, this is a pastry cutter. This is a little faster. So all I do is cut it up and we don't want it cut in too much. I'm just going to cut it up till it kind of beads up a little bit. Now my daughter always has issues with this, but I scoop in like scoop around the edge of the, yeah, we're going to make a mess tonight. And that's, what's fun about cooking. I'm telling you, so we're making a pie crust y'all easy, easy recipe. Um, in here I have, for those of you who just joined us, in here, I have, um, oh, we had to move this a little bit because there's too much going on. You guys got to go to YouTube. Um, go over to YouTube. So anyway, um, if you just joined us, this is my mom's pie crust recipe. Do not ever buy pie. Don't crust. Do not buy pie. Do not buy crust. It's two and a fourth cups of flour. Uh, then one and a half teaspoons of salt. We've got a short cup of Crisco in here. And... Uh, yeah, we're just making our pie crust. So, see how it's kind of beating together a little bit? What? What? It's not showing you. I don't want it to. I just no. want it the very back of me. So that they go to... Okay. That's the point, Brian. My hubby's trying to tell me what to do with the whole recording no, thing. I'm not. Oh, yes, you are. I still love you, babe. Um, So... We're beating this. You kind of see that how it's beaded up a little bit, right? It's in little chunkies. So this is kind of a really important step right here. You do not want to, you do not want to over mix. Once you put the liquid in, you do not want to over mix. See, when you have butter, you have to cool it in between. American, like Midwestern cooks, we deal with Crisco because butter is just finicky. Now I know how to make butter pie crust. But this crust is just, it's just easy for beginners. It's just easy. So this is, y'all, a really important step right here, okay? So the way we incorporate the liquid into here is we're just going to, like, drop it in like this, okay? And then I think I might need a spatula. Get the rest of it out with a spatula. So see how this is, like, this pasty? So... I'm putting that in and then I'm going to of my fork. I'm just going to lightly sort of like mix that around a little bit until it gets it's kind of like you just sort of it's like folding it in, but you just get the liquid put around just a tiny bit. You don't want to press on it, you know, because again, we make pie when we're happy. Because pie is delicate, and there's nothing prettier than pie. Um, and so, see, that's easy, right? So, now we got that come together. What we're going to do is this. Now, I promised you a treat, an easy treat. Next week, we're going to turn this into actual pie. This week, we're going to make one of my kids' favorite treats. So, this makes enough for two pie crusts, okay? So, in my bowl right here, I'm literally just going to push it into halves, okay? Okay. And each one of these halves would make a nine inch pie crust. So I'm going to take half of this because I can save the other for later. But normally what happens is I make a pie with just one crust. A lot of times we do a recipe for two pie crusts because a lot of pie crust recipes or a lot of pie recipes call for two crusts, the crust on the bottom and the crust on the top. So I'm going to take one of these because when I would make pie for my kids when they were little, their favorite part was the treat we're going to make tonight. So let me show you, and this is rolling out pie anyway, like this is what you do to roll out pie. So I've got this, my, I've squished it together just a little bit. And before I roll it out, I'm going to put a little flour on my little rolling mat here. As long as you have a flat surface, you're fine. And then I'm going to put a little flour always on my rolling pin. So we're just going to start, can you see that? We're going to start here and we're going to 
Mm -hmm. Oh, by the way, I'm live on YouTube, y'all. Go find it. Um, and then just keep, I roll a little bit, press, and then we're going to flip it a couple times because we got to make sure that it'll stay together. I don't, and then I kind of press it a little bit. But so I'm just kind of getting this rolled out. Pie crust, you just, it's going to be a little crumbly. You want that because what you want is um, for it to be like crispy and kind of layered a little bit. And um, so I just just don't want to mix it together too much. So I'm going to keep rolling this out. And see this? Can you see that circle? So this this mat that I have, I don't know. I might have got it from King Arthur Flower or something. But this mat I have, I don't know. I buy baking stuff from a lot of places. Um, helps you know when it's big enough to fit the pie pan. So I like to use it. I mean, by now I've made so many dang pie crusts, I can tell. But we're not turning this into a pie tonight. We're turning this into my children's favorite treat when they were little. And you know, when I'm rolling it out, I reflower. It's okay. So that it doesn't stick to your rolling pin. I wish I had one of those great big long rolling pins, but I do not. Now we're going to, I'm going to flip it. I don't know if I did this soon enough. Flip. Okay, Samantha. You're supposed to flip in between. That's why I have this. Flip. This will help. Come on, Samantha. Oh, see that? I'm just kind of easing it off there. And I'm going to flip it to and put a little more flour underneath of it. And then we're going to finish rolling this sucker out. And see, I don't, if this one breaks up, I don't care. But if you if your crust does break up a little bit and you need to repair it, just a little bit of water and a little piece of dough will do it. So I got this pretty much rolled out to about what I want. Now I'm going to take the edge because we're just making a treat out of it. I'm going to make a little like I'm pushing. See how I'm pushing up an edge here? Hey, y'all. Oh, don't forget. If you comment early and you stay till the end, you have a chance to win a piece of merch. Oh, by the way, I'm live on YouTube. If you want to watch it, go say hi. Um, ooh, I don't know what, oh, what happened to my, it fell off. Oh, this is why I have one of these. Cause when my hands get icky, I just wipe it and go. What's so it called? what, what's that called? What's called my tea towel. Tea towel is the key to life. I use tea towels for everything. When I'm gardening in the summer, I just tie it around my waist and put my phone in it. I use them for everything. So I'm pushing up the edge of my pie crust. All right. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because we're making a treat tonight. We're not making pie. You want to make pie with me? I'll make some key lime pie or something with you next week. I'll take some some uh, suggestions. If y'all have suggestions, I'll take some suggestions. Um, but this is American pie crust. It's different than the pies that the rest of the world makes. I don't think anybody else uses Crisco except us. But it's so much easier to deal with. Um, Brian, would you do me a favor? I forgot to turn on the oven. Before you start, because I was too busy with it, go turn it on to 400, please. So Brian's going to turn the oven for 400. Um, so I've got it this well. Do you see I kind of have a well here? All right. So now I'm going to, i got to get my pan. All right. So I'm going to put this on my pan. It, it should just like slide on, right? Like that. See that? Woohoo. Okay. So I'm going to slide this onto my pan. And then the problem is you don't want any extra like stuff on there. It'll burn. And it's in the Okay. So I have this pie crust. Now I promise you, my kiddos loved this treat. They absolutely love, love, loved it. Um, I'm going to, oh, there's just so many bowls and stuff to deal with. I can't even with this. Bowls, bowls, bowls. Oh, I need sugar. So I do this to taste. Now, um, I'm going to put about half a cup of sugar in here. And again, this is not an exact thing, but I put about half a cup of sugar in there. This isn't a baking. This isn't really a baking thing. This is kind of a to taste thing, but I'm going to put about half a cup of sugar in there. And then I'm going to try about <clears throat> a tablespoon of cinnamon. Sometimes I use cardamom too, but I don't measure over that because if I spill, this is not good. So I'm going to take uh, about a tablespoon into that mixture. And then 
I'm going to stir that up a little bit. See? Okay. So I've got like a sugar, a cinnamon sugar mixture. I'm telling you guys, try this at home. It's just amazing. So I've got my cinnamon sugar mixture. And then I'm going to put this on here like this. See that? Now I made enough to make a couple of these. So the rest of this can go, but so if, do you like pop tarts, like the cinnamon sugar pop tarts? Mm, yes. Oh, Brian says he does. Um, if you do, you will love this treat. So here's the key. I got my little turkey baster. You can, when I didn't have one of these, I used to just use like a spoon to kind of dribble it on here. So this is milk and heavy whipping cream. You can use milk, any kind of milk product. Any kind of milk product is good. But so I'm going to use my little turkey baster. And then I'm going to just kind of put it around like this to sort of get it like, so it will, you know, like make a little like layer sort of on top. And you want it. So now you know why I've made the little well, right? Because we don't want the, we don't want this to come off the edge. Okay. We want it basically all kind of soaked in. Let's see if that's enough. Okay. Boom. And then see, I'm kind of spreading it out. Oh, yeah, that's plenty. And sometimes if I think, okay, we want kind of a, like a little layer of cinnamon sugar. I can't wait to eat that. Brian's like, yeah, I can't wait to eat that. So I'm going to add a tiny bit more of my cinnamon sugar mixture just so it's a little bit because we don't want it a liquid really. We want it like a, want like a coating. So now I got that added. Okay. That is ready for the oven. Now we're gonna put this in the oven for 15 minutes and then we're gonna see what uh, we get out of it. Brian, would you do me a favor mm -hmm. and go put that in the oven for me? 15 minutes and we're gonna go on to something else until then. It's not heated up yet. But. We'll just wait till it's heated up. It's fine. It'll be almost there. Um. Okay. So see this? Yeah. This is a problem downstairs, but because uh, I don't have a sink. I mean, I have a sink in the other room, but so we're going to wipe off my hands. So the first thing we did was a pie crust. Did y'all like the pie crust? I'm telling you, do not ever buy a pie crust in, um, do not ever buy a pie crust in the, in the store. It's too easy to make. And if you like that treat, like we're going to, um, we're going to make, uh, yeah, I know my nose itches. I have allergies. It's just all the time. We're going to make, um, pies next week. So make sure you come back and if you comment early and stay, you know, at least part of the way through, um, you'll be entered to win some merch, either kindness, love and chickens, my middle of or merch, something like that. So we have to clean up now. I'm not good at the cleanup, but that's okay. We're going to. This is what I usually do with this because sometimes I make this stuff. I'm going to use a spoon later for something else. So. so this right here is going to, I do a lot of work in my basement. I know this is crazy. A cooking show from your basement because I, my kitchen is too small. Um, I'm going to do this, roll this up like this. And then when my assistant comes back, he's just going to take it upstairs to the sink and we'll move on to something else. Do do do. Okay, and we're going to wipe off my little area here. Now, the next thing we're going to start is trendy right now are these hot chocolate bombs. Okay, so I don't have the molds to make hot chocolate bombs. Um, but the first step to making hot chocolate bombs is making your own hot chocolate recipe to go inside of them. So this week, like I said, so with the pie, we made the crust this week. Next week, I'm going to show you how to actually make pie. Um, so what we're going to do is this week, make the hot chocolate mix and show you how, if, you, if you're not really skilled enough to make a uh, hot chocolate, to make a chocolate bomb for hot chocolate, this still can be a cute little gift that you could give somebody for Christmas, right? So we'll use this recipe in the hot chocolate bombs that we make next week. But we're just going to start with a hot chocolate mixture. Okay. So in our hot chocolate mixture, the first thing you have to have is um, milk. You have to have milk. But wait a minute. Like what kind of milk? So 
you have to have instant dry milk because I keep this, you see how this big is? I, the, on the farm, we always had instant dry milk. So we made our own concoction. We never went anywhere for anything. You know, when you live in the middle of nowhere, you just don't have access to stuff. So when you make a, a hot chocolate mix, the first thing you have to start with is some instant or, or some powdered milk. All right, so we're gonna put, I think two cups of powdered milk in. Or start with that. We're not making a ton of this mix, but just enough. So I'm gonna go two cups of uh, instant dry milk. Got it? So I got two cups of instant dry milk in there. And then, uh, where's my, and this is, this is a recipe that's kind of a little bit to taste too. Um, because some people like more sugar and I do sometimes use artificial sweetener, but in two cups of milk, I'm also going to add three fourths a cup of sugar. This is a cup, but I'm just going to eyeball it. Cause that's what I do. So three fourths cup of sugar into the two cups of milk. That seems like a lot in the dried milk. And um, where are we? We're also gonna add, oh, dang it, gotta get it. So I also like to add a little bit of non-dairy creamer. It makes it feel a little bit thicker, you know? So yeah, we're gonna use these to make the hot chocolate bombs next week and you will see me fail. Like this week's easy for me, these easy crafts and easy, but next week, when I try more complicated things, I just fail and it's fun. But I want you to show you some easy things that you can do. So we're gonna put, um, let's see. You know, I can't find all of my measuring things because they are now hidden underneath all kinds of stuff. So I need a fourth a cup of this. So we're going to use this thing because it's okay to use it because if I get a little cinnamon sugar in there, it doesn't matter. So I'm going to put and see there's a there are measuring things you can use. You don't have to have a fourth of a cup measurement. As long as you have a cup measurement, you can figure it out. So I'm going to put about a fourth a cup of <clears throat> non-dairy creamer in there. Let's see. That's about a fourth a cup. Fourth a cup of non-dairy creamer in there. Um, and then I need uh, I need my 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 cocoa. I'm going to put a half a cup of cocoa in there if I can find my cocoa. I don't know where my cocoa is. I don't know what happened to my cocoa. Hey, Brian, have you seen my cocoa? Oh, I found my cocoa. I have not. Okay. I'm going to put about a half a cup of cocoa in there and see what it is. I might start with a fourth of a cup because sometimes I should have, I should, um, so we're going to start with a fourth of a cup. I should uh, sift this because cocoa gets a little bit like into chunks, but I'll just see my fingers. So we're gonna start with a fourth a cup of cocoa because sometimes cocoa can get a little bit overwhelming. I may add more. So I've got two cups of powdered milk. I think I put like, what? Three fourths cup of sugar. Then I put, what, half a, I don't know. I don't write down recipes. Y'all are gonna know that. Um, this, oh, some non-dairy creamer, fourth a cup of that. I don't know, fourth a cup of cocoa. So. Pour a fourth a cup of cocoa in. Now you can add cinnamon to this mixture. You can do whatever you want to. So um, here's what we've got. Okay. So you see that? Yes, I'm using my fingers. It's okay. So, woo, we're getting a dusty. The thing that, oh, uh, now you could run this through a sifter. Whew, if you saw the dust in here, you'd be like, girlfriend, you need a mask even in your own house. So, Okay, so we are trying not to die here as we, I'm using my hand to kind of crumple it up together because the milk, powdered milk is a little like, oh, it's, it's not very powdery. It, it's kind of clumpy. So I'm doing this. Now, does that look kind of like, oh, oh my gosh, we got cocoa. Cocoa just flies. So I'm going to taste this so I know about how it tastes. So let's see. Oh my gosh. This is why you taste things before you give them to people. <laughs> Y'all just put salt in my uh, hot cocoa mix. I'm about to die. Whew. Well, all right then. That wasn't sugar. Notice how, uh, ugh. 
notice how the label is not, I label everything, but my label is washed off and there's not there. <laughs> well, this would be really good. Had I put the sugar in instead of the salt, this is a perfect mixture. <laughs> okay. That's such a lesson. Please taste. If you keep, I, can, I know that seems like a lot of salt. I keep a lot of salt on him. Lord Almighty. That was terrible. Oh, I was gonna have Diet Coke. Uh, look, we're gonna continue with this, but that is literally how you make hot cocoa mix. Now we're going to make a little craft that you can give away. I won't use this next week. I'll make a new batch to use in my uh, in my um, <clears throat> whew, in my. <laughs> oh, and I told you I wouldn't fail at simple stuff. It's okay to fail. You just gotta back up and do it. Again. But my mother used to always say check twice so you don't have to make something thrice anyway i'm still gonna show you what to do with this so pretending this is a good thing um we're going to where's my little i got a little cute little i got a cute little thing here where's my cute little i don't know i don't know oh here it is can we link the recipe in the description later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can link the recipe in the description later. We sure will. And it, it's good. So here's what I'm going to show you. So this is a little jar, tiny jars. I get these like a buck a piece, but you can reuse them. Anyway, a cute little present. We're going to put about three-fourths the way full of like, you know, the of the hot chocolate, hot, hot cocoa mix. Pretending this is real hot cocoa mix. And um, <clears throat> you can put, like, do you see that? See what I'm doing? You can put um, some marshmallows on the top. See that? Put some little marshmallows on the top. You could also do this in a cup, whatever. And um, sometimes when I do these, like, you can put, you can put um, material on top. Literally, though, the, to cute it up, all you have to do is tie a little ribbon around it. I'm telling you, your friends will like it. So this is a cute little way just to give away. A, I mean, it's just fun. So I'm going to remind you how to tie. To tie a bow, you start. You see how one is under and one is up? You, If you want your bow flat, you make the loop with the one that's down and then circle around. I know a lot of people don't know how to do this. This may seem like common sense, but it's not. Then you circle around and up. And then your bow will be a flat, a straight bow. If you go the other way, the bow ends up cockeyed and crooked. So, you know, you can make, and if you have like little scripts, scraps of um, material or whatever, I often tie these up with material, but you could paint a little thing on it and do anything you want to do with this. But this is a cute little present for friends. And... If you're smart, like I am, I buy these like beauty collections and literally you can, you know, attach one of these to the top and you have, you can like make a little, like a uh, little gift basket for your friends. One of these in there, you literally could spend three or four bucks and have a cute little package put together. I think I got these at Ulta. No, they don't sponsor me, but I got these at Ulta. And so you just split them up and they're, they come with tons of little things. It, this ended up costing me $12 and they're like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine pieces for $12. So I could give out little presents to 12 of my friends, but anyway, that's a side note. So, and you can, obviously you can doll these up anyway, but this week, remember we're doing simple, easy things for you for holiday times. And then next week we will, um, next week we will, um, you know, do some more complicated things, but obviously I fit, you guys, I've been baking like nonstop since, since I started walking. All right. And I just use salt instead of sugar. Mom is telling you, check. That is why you never take a recipe someplace to give somebody unless you've made like a second one. You've done exactly the same way and you taste it. You got, you just gotta, you net Cause I, you know what? I know most of y'all would have made something like this and then you would have just like put it in. You just got to check. You got to check your, you got to taste your stuff. Ah, lessons from the middle of nowhere. <clears throat> so if you've just joined us, 
I am making some easy treats. Well, not so easy for me, but easy treats. And uh, dang it, my nose itches. Uh, my allergies. I have to take some allergy meds. Um, we're making some easy treats for the middle of nowhere and easy crafts for you to use. And I, I just thank you for joining me tonight. Oh, by the way, I'm live over on YouTube. If you would like to uh, join me, you sure can. So, um, yeah, so that's it. That's it's, it's that simple. Uh, what's the next thing I want to make? Um, oh, at the end, if you stay to the end, there are two of my followers I'm shouting out with a little request or an answer to a DM. So at the end of the show, I've got two requests or I actually have one request to follow through with. And one follower I'm shouting out because uh, of a DM. So if you stay at the end, you might hear those. And if you stay in comment at the end, you can also win. You might win some merchandise, either a middle of nowhere shirt or a kindness loving chickens. One of those things. So the next thing we want to do is an easy, easy craft. I love things that are easy. So I, use, I have a lot of canning jars around and um Dang, my fingernails are so full of cocoa because of that. We've got to, like, clean them up. Anyway, so I picked up these for a dollar a piece at the dollar store. These I have hanging around, you know, just because I have them hanging around. I'm going to show you a really simple, cute way to, like, doll up your house. So, like, and you can consistently change the colors, whatever, as the seasons go. This is just like a seriously simple craft, you guys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of water in here just to start it out. So I'm going to add a little water to each one of these. Okay. And then I can add water to, I won't do it to all of them, but I'm going to show you like, so I'm going to add water to all these and we're going to do different colors and stuff. So what I'm going to do is since it's Christmas time, I want some red and green in my house, right? So I'm going to add, this is just plain old food coloring. I love it. So we're going to add some red to this one, some red. Hey, baby. When is that done? When is what done? Pie crust. Did you set the timer for 15 minutes, Brian? Um, the oven wasn't ready yet. So, so it's not in? It in? No, I put it in like five minutes ago. Like, oh, so 10 more minutes. 10 minutes, minutes ago, minutes. I don't know. Uh, you, you look at it. Oh, Lucy's helping the cooking. Huh. So when it starts to get a little bubbly and stuff, then it just gets a little like, it's supposed to be in there for about 15 minutes. I don't know when I put it in the pot. Well, go I look at it. Go look at it. I just did it. At the and you don't think it's done? I don't know. So five or 10 minutes. Okay. Just watch. Okay. And then we're going to do some red in here. I love this. This is a real, I'm telling you guys, this is the cutest way to like doll up your house. Um, and then I've got some shimmer. Oh my gosh. I love glitter. I'm a glitter queen. And so we're going to put a little glitter in each of these two. And I just think let's use some gold. Okay. We're going to put a little gold in this and the red one. Let's see if there's any. Okay. I'll show you the difference too. And then I don't know. This doesn't really matter. Does it put some green in? Oh, this one's not open. A little gold in a little greenish gold glitter. Ooh, a little glitter in there. We'll put glitter in these. And then it'll be cute, I promise. Okay. And then, oh, my green. Then I'm going to do some green. So this is just water, you guys, and food coloring. You can, the glitter is optional. So I'm going to put a little food coloring there, food coloring in there, food coloring in there. And you can make them as dark as you want to, right? The colors. So, not done. All right. So, let's fill these up. So, I'm going to fill this up to about right there. Fill it up to right there. Now, these will heat up as we do what I'm about to do. But Okay. So, I've got two reds and a green. I'm going to fill these up a little bit to the top. And... Woohoo! Oh my gosh. Okay. So I should show you my upstairs. It has these little things in it and I love it. So simple, easy craft. And then what we're going to do is add a floating candle. And you guys, these floating candles. So here's the deal. 
what I do is you can like, okay, if you dip it in, right, it, the, the top will drip. So then there's glitter on my candle. I know you can't really see that much. I'll show you. So I'm going to dip it in. Oh, yeah, I'm making a mess. I always make a mess. Um, and then these are going to be a little harder because they're a little higher. But So I'm putting the, the candle in. And we can light these. And then you have a cute little display. I promise this is cute. I like to put it around like, um, uh, you know, like I, I put other decorations around them. And it's really simple. And then um, I add tool to it. And you can change it. It's so easy to change these every single season. Um, I don't know. I don't want red tool or silver tool. I think I'll add silver tool. So I'll put a little tool around it. And, you know, tool is one of those things. I, I always had this stuff around because I love it. But we're just going to get a, ugh, a tool is glittery, too. want to get a piece of tool. I love tool. Woo, I'm glittery. All glittery. So let's just take one of these. I'll put these upstairs in a minute. Um, so we're just going to take one of these and you can kind of see what it looks like, right? Hey, Brian, would you go grab me a lighter so I can light this? I'm going to wrap some tool around this. We don't want this too high up on it. I'm going to tie a tool bow real quick. Again, these are simple, easy, easy things that you can make that, that will spice up your house. And just make life more fun and easier and all that kind of stuff. So what I'm saying is you can, so like I like to um, cut these once I tie a bow because then I just froof it out a little bit. You can put a couple on here, but you can tie, you see what I'm saying? So I tie the bow and then to make it a little poofy, then I cut these little strings here. And then with tool, you know, you can always like do little sections. So I love to, cause you can make like, oh, I just ripped that one off. I love tool cause you can make things like froofy really quickly. And it costs a lot less than, than um, it costs a lot less than like material for things like this or ribbon. And so what, what I'm telling you, you put these like around your house, so you can do all different colors. So different times of year, I like, like red for, um, you know, like obviously the heart time of year. Oh, that's called Valentine's Day. I never celebrate Valentine's Day. Oh, wait, I'm married now. I'm going to have to. Nope, I don't do it either. Oh, Brian says he doesn't celebrate Valentine's Day. We're going to get this going. And you guys, this will be so... See, once the candle gets started, it's so cute. And if you've got a few of these sitting someplace in your house, I'm telling you, easy little craft. All right, let's get these out of here. Now that we've blown that out. Hey, Brian, would you help me move these things? Brian, yeah. would you help me move these things? Okay, so got my hubs helping me, which is always nice. I I'm telling you, try this. Any kind of bowl, put a little bit of color in it. If as long as it's glass, um, you can, uh, you know, add some food coloring to it and make, like, cute little candle things. And, you know, we we buy these candles, and you can always add scent to the water, um, I mean, it's, it's always an option, you know? So anyway, okay. So what we've done is make a little like crafty thing with, I like to do things inexpensively and I like to reuse things. So the, the glass that I just use, like those, I can really use those every season. So like for Easter time, I can have light blue and cause I can have all kinds of colors of, you know, like food coloring and stuff. So that's just what, I do. All right. I've lost my, I've lost my, all right. We're going to, oh, we're getting messy here now. So this is a huge fun tip. How are y'all doing? I think I'll just say hi. Hey, she doesn't. Oh yeah. Oh gosh. You guys are getting political in the comments. Don't you dare. This is all fun and love and positivity here. We're just cooking in the middle of nowhere and doing crafts. You'll be positive with each other. Kindness, love, and chickens. That's the way to life. Okay, <clears throat> so now we're going to show you what I do with soaps that I don't know what to do with. 
let's get busy on those. So um, next week, I'm going to show you extension of that. So every one of these is an easy thing. Next week, that little thing we just made, I'm going to show you how to turn it into a volcano. Oh, yeah. You're going to love it. So I'm going to show you how to turn that into a volcano. You're going to like that. I promise. So each one of these easy things is going to get more difficult when I do this next week. So there'll be an extension of each of these next week. So make sure you turn on those notification buttons so you can be here next week with me, too. Thank you for coming. I know there are a couple of you that I specially invited, and I'm so thankful you're sharing this Saturday night with me. That's all I have to say. Thank you. So we've made some pie crust, right? And next week, I'm going to show you how to make pie. We've got a treat in the oven right now. We made some hot chocolate mix, which I failed at. But next week, we're going to turn those into chocolate bombs. We made some um, decorations for the house with really simply with um, uh, not powdered sugar. My head just said powdered sugar <laughs> with food coloring. And I'm going to show you how to turn those into some volcanoes. And now we're going to make, um, or I'm going to show you what to do with some soap that you don't know what to do with, or that's all kind of, you know, like weird. And the next week I'll show you how to make some more pretty things with them. So let's just start with the soap. Oh, I have to grab some. If you are like me, every time you go to Lush, you ask for a sample. Well, the samples you can't use because they're too dang tiny. And then after a while, if you don't use the samples, you see what I'm doing? After a while, if you don't use the samples, what happens? They, uh, they start to get nasty like this. You see this? Still smells amazing, but I'm going to show you what to do with them. So we're going to take one sample. See that? I don't even know what this is, but they start to get gooey and stuff. So... We're gonna, this is a sample, right? Now what I'm going to do is I collect these soaps. We buy boxes. We go to the box sale after Christmas at Lush. And we don't really use the soaps unless I turn them into a usable bar. Because seriously, like this, like this is not that usable as a soap. The shape, like some of these shapes are weird and crazy. And I don't even, I, I, I don't know. So we're going to, what? Moderate on. I don't know. I thought Jean was on there moderating. Um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to, it says purple. This is not useful to wash your hands with. Obviously, I bought two boxes. This is not useful. This is not a shape. So we set these out for a little bit to look pretty. And then we turn them into actual usable soap sizes. So what we're going to do, and, and all of your samples and stuff that you get from Lush, do the same thing with um, I just made these a few weeks ago with like 15 samples that I picked up because every time I go to Lush, I ask for a soap sample. So basically you come home and you cut them up. Okay. Just really literally cut them up. And then we're going to put them in a, a glass container. So I'm also now I'm going to cut up these ones that are no, that are no, the shape you can't use to wash your hands promise you guys this hack is amazing so go to lush every time you go to lush just ask for a soap sample and you can ask for the same sample every dang time and then you come home and you turn it into actual usable bars of soap this is just genius i'm telling you now this week i'm showing you the basics and next week we'll make some cuter things with it so i'm clumping these up so that they'll melt better because i'm gonna put them in the put them in the microwave and melt them up so I'm just using the brown one and the purple ones right now. And you will totally see what I'm about to do. This is a huge hack, you guys. Huge. Just cut them up. Again, I love Lush. It's my favorite thing on earth, okay? I have a whole cabinet full of Lush stuff. It's the thing that I spend money on because it makes me happy, okay? But I love their samples, too. And then, but these soap shapes that they make, some of them are crazy. And you just, you can't use a hand. They're pretty. They're pretty to sit out for a while. But then they start to get a little like, Nyeh. and then it's like, wait a minute. I don't know what to do with that. So I'm going to melt this really quickly. And um, so we've got browns and purples in here. I'm going to melt this and I'll talk about the other stuff. Hold up. All right. Oh. Okay, so I have my soaps melting. 
Now I'm going to talk a little bit about, do you see this? It's like a silicone uh, muffin shape. These sizes are easy. We use these all over the house um, because this size you can easily put in your hands and use. We use this size in the shower, you use it, you know, in the kitchen. So basically we're going to make soaps into this size so they're usable. And then I'm going to pour some in another silicone mold so that um, we can make some little pretties out of this for next week. All right. So every 30 seconds, just stir and check. So see, I had it in there for about 30 seconds. See how it's getting a little bit melty. We'll leave it in there for another 30 seconds. <sighs> Oh, okay, so I'm melting up some soaps right now. We've done lots of things tonight. Make sure you turn on those notification buttons or that notification bell so that you can come back next week because I'm going to be doing some more difficult things. All the easy stuff we're doing tonight. And these are things like I don't care if you're a teenager. I don't care if you are, you know, out in college in the real world, whatever. These are things you can do to enhance your life. I love simple. Do you know what I'm saying? And I love things that everybody can do and that don't cost that much money. Like this craft, for instance, I'm telling you, zero dollars. Just go Lush. Every day you're someplace where Lush is, pick up a sample and they will give one to you. Um, that's it. So it's almost all melty. There's a couple more left. I'm going to melt it a tiny bit more. I should have a, I should have a, there we go. So, ooh, so. Uh, this is just a massive hack. I'm telling you, you guys, it's a massive hack. You do not have to buy soap from Lush. You don't. It's really expensive. It's the best soap there is. But it's totally a hack. And they give out samples. Until they stop giving out samples, do this. Go to Lush and get your free samples. All right, this will almost be done. Then I'll show you what I do. But I'm telling you, this is a silicone. You can reuse these. I make all kinds of stuff in these. But the main thing, I mean, like, obviously muffins. But the main thing I use it for is to do stuff with my with my soaps. Like this, like, how do you wash your hands with that? You can't. All right. So this is my purple layer. Ready? So I've got my purple layer ready to go. Okay. And because I put a little brown in there, it's okay. That leftover one, right? So I'm going to pour purple soap into here. All right. I'm going to pour a little bit, a little bit. And then I'm going to actually pour some of these little molds too, because if you, you can make some to make your big ones pretty if you want to. And I'll show you how to do that. Ooh, it's okay. We did a little spill. Um, okay. So I may, oh, you didn't get to see that. I poured it in little molds. I'm sorry. It was too far up. What I did was this. See, I have these little silicone molds too. And so I'm just putting some, cause we're gonna make some pretties out of these. So I'm putting some in a mold like that. Oh, that's yummy, it looks good. Do you guys wanna see? Are you ready? So here is our treat that we made earlier from a pie crust. And basically, uh, you just, ah, ouch, it just came out of the oven. You can slice it up. There's little pieces of it. Oh, good. You gotta go try that. Mm. Thank you, buddy. There you go. So that's our treat we made earlier. Ah, so good. So yeah, we, we made that treat earlier, right? Were you here for that? Were you here for that? Let me know. You guys, that's such a good treat. It tastes like um it, it tastes like Pop Tarts because it's got the cinnamon sugar thing in the middle. Anyway, so we're letting this soap and this is gonna this is my hard and fast enough we can do something. Anyway, um now I need another glass one. So now what we're gonna do is take our peach colored ones, and I may have to scoot this out of the way a little bit okay so now we're going to take the peach colored ones and do the same thing with them i'm telling you this is like the key to life can you still see me 
I don't know. I'm going to have to move this one out of the way. Move this one out of the way. Woo, do, 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 do. Okay. So I've got my little ones cooling in there too. And now I'm going to do the peach colored ones. So like this shape, for instance, the reason I do this is because these shapes are so unusable as hand soaps. They're so unusable. They're just like, they don't feel good. They don't rub your hand right. So I'm going to take all my peach colored ones. And again, these are from like, I mean, they're cute to sit out for a while and they smell great, but they're just not usable as hand soaps. So I'm going to do the same thing with my peachy colored ones that I did with my purple ones. And we'll end up with some layered soaps. But these, I mean, next week I can show you how to make some fun things with that. Peach, orangey. Yeah, like seriously, like what, what am I supposed to do with soap shaped like a circle to actually use as soap? Because the thing is, in my life, if it's not usable, it doesn't stay around. And because lush soaps are so amazingly seasoned and scented, they don't last like other bars of soap forever. Like a lot of decorative soaps will last you a while and they'll look pretty for a while. No, no, no. These decorative soaps do not. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Don't forget the big box sale day at Lush the day after Christmas. That's your hint right now. You guys go to it. I go every year. I get boxes of stuff 50% off and it keeps us for several months. I mean, have you guys seen my Lush cabinet? I've shown it off in a lot of my TikToks. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it's, it's our key to mental health. So I, I just love, I love Lush. That's all there's to it. I love Lush. Um, and I've got, you know, like pink and white in there too. I'm going to do these two colors. So <clears throat> what we're doing now is cutting up soaps. Um, and there's a little bit of like cream in this one, but we're cutting up soaps um, to put into, to make our own bars of soap. So if you go to Lush, don't forget to pick up your samples. Okay. Pick up your samples because you can create all kinds of good usable soaps yourself. And this is... I mean, it's just a total cheat way to do it. And these little things that we made, you can use to decorate soaps as well. So what you do is you put your other one, you know, your other, your bigger ones together, and then you drop one of these little ones on the top, and uh, it decorates it. So I don't know if one of those will. Oh, they might be solid enough for it to do that by the time we're done. They might be. You guys, thank you for joining me and hanging out with me. I appreciate it. I do, I do. Oh, y'all, don't forget to go over to the live stream on YouTube. It's happening right now. Go to the live stream on YouTube. <clears throat> so you'll get some uh, a possibility. I'm doing a merch drawing at the end. They have those random generators. I don't know how to do that. But anyway, <clears throat> don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell for my videos. So now we've got this one cut up. There's lots of orange. Lots of orange. I'm going to do one more orange. This is a pair. Do you see? These are not useful. The shape, this is not a useful shape. Lush, I love you, but your soaps don't come in useful shapes. They're cute for a while, but then they get really sticky and stuff. So go to Lush. Always ask for a soap sample. And I say always ask for a soap sample because you can turn them into usable bars of soap. The little samples they give you, can you use them? Heck no. But you can melt them and make your own. A lot of times I mix in uh, other soaps. Like I have a soap base, like a glycerin soap base or or like a olive oil soap base, something like that. And then if I don't have enough samples, I'll use my plain soap base and just throw these in. Because I'm telling you, these are so scented and amazing that even diluted, they're still good soaps. Um, so, yeah, Other, but they're expensive. Okay, woohoo, that is, all right, this is going to take a while to melt. I'm going to pop that in the microwave. Okay, let's see. Woo, get that, um, get that going. And then uh, that, wow, how long have we been here? Hi, Brian, what time is it? 8.58. 8.58? We've been here for an hour. Holy cow. So as this melts, I will talk to you a little bit. Um, you guys, thank you for joining me in this live stream. I have so many tons of things that I can teach you about simple cooking, some trips or some trips, some, 
tips and tricks for cooking, for crafting. Let me get this out. So join me here on a Saturdays. That one needs to be washed. Join me here on Saturday nights and we'll have some fun. I'm also going to do some other live streams that'll have some different focuses. If you guys, if there's a live stream, like if there's a, um, if there's a topic that you'd like me to live stream about, as long as it's not political, dude, I can do it. I could, I, I've even thought about doing like a Thursday night book club where we discuss books on our live streams and stuff like that. So, you know, just let me know. Uh, and while you're here, don't forget to sub. So at the end of the at the end of the stream, um, I will be doing because we're we're getting close to the end. So I'll be doing uh, a couple shout outs. And uh, if you want to shout out for next time, tell me what you'd like to see. Anything you'd like to see me make. Remember, next week we're going to be doing um, hot chocolate bombs from the hot chocolate mix, kind of that we made. And um, then. We're going to be making an actual pie. So let, next week's live stream will probably take a little bit longer because I just have to do extensions of all the things that I made this week and a little bit more complicated. So I'm just putting in the, the reason you don't want to you don't want to heat things up more than like 30 seconds at a time, really, because it, they'll get hot spots and burn and it's no good. But. Um, and I'm going to show you how to make the volcano things. We've got lots of stuff to do um, next week as well. Um, but if there's something you want to see, I will shout you out. So if you have any requests, like you'll see what the requests were at the end of this live. Um, and, uh, oh, by the way, I'm live over on YouTube. If you want to see what I'm doing, go there. I flower, your butt. flower everywhere. I'm always, I'm okay with that. I don't mind. Anyway, we're, we're coming to the end. <laughs> But we're not done yet. So make sure if you commented earlier and you want to be included in the drawing for a piece of merch, uh, don't forget to comment at the end because I'll be checking. And one person, I will reach out to you and I will send you a piece of merch. Um, either a Kindness Loving Chickens or a Middle of Nowhere shirt or, or sweatshirt or T-shirt or something. Um, what else do I have to say? Oh, yeah. And then every time I'm going to shout out a couple of followers who gave me a request to do something or whatever if you want to stay for that it's all good and uh oh gosh i'm using my purple one it's all right don't have too much longer for this but a little bit so i'll put it back in the oven for a little bit or back in the microwave um whoo uh so let me see pizza rolls you have to start your pizza rolls all over again. Oh my gosh. I, I used to eat pizza rolls, but you guys, I could show you how to make homemade calzones. I make really good pizza crust. Really good, really good pizza crust. You will never eat pizza rolls again if you eat these. Besides, the homemade stuff's way better for you. Way better for you. Hey, y'all. I'm over on YouTube. Okay. Now, this is getting a little more done. You see it? Can you see? So again, I only heat this up 30 seconds at a time. You can't do it more than 30 seconds at a time in the microwave because you will get, uh, you'll get hot spots. It'll burn and stuff. So you got to mix it up. If you are not here to spread kindness, love, and positivity to everybody who's decided to join this, it's probably not the place for you. But the rest of you, thank you for joining me. Uh, yeah, I think it needs 30 more seconds, and then I'll pour it in. And we're getting close to the end. I'm doing shout-outs. So um, the nice thing about this is it's soap. So it's not like wax. When I make candles and stuff, you get wax on you, it doesn't come out. Soap washes out, so it's awesome. <sighs> Looks like everybody's wanting calzones. You want calzones? <gasps> you guys want me to show you how to make calzones? I would love to show you how to make calzones. I can totally prepare to make calzones next week. I absolutely could. Would you like calzones? Simple, easy. And then you can also like little, make little mini pockets. Like you can make big ones. You make mini ones. I'll show you how to make calzones. Home, and I, I make my own homemade sauce and stuff too. So, um, yeah. 
What that would that would be good. If you have any other suggestions, any crafts you'd like to see me do, remember next week we're gonna be doing some extensions of everything you saw tonight. Some more difficult, like a level up. But this week I just want to show you some easy things that you can do, you know, some easy treats. Um because sometimes in life we just need easy. They want calzones. Uh you want calzones. I tell I would love to make you calzones. You guys, I, I totally would love to make calzones with you. I do make good pizza crust. Um, I'm not Italian, but I still make good pizza crust. There's just a knack to it. So I'll make them at the beginning of the live stream next week, and then we'll do everything else, and then we'll finish with those. Okay? All right. So, oh, oh, I said this over there. So let me show you. So in between the melting, so here's what's happened. These are just solid enough that I'm going to be able to, and next week I'll show these off because they will probably not be solid enough right now. So what I'm going to do is pour my orange on top of my purple. All right. You guys, these are going to be such cute, useful little, little thing, bars of soap because the other way they were not useful. I'm telling you, they were not useful. And I'm going to make a whole orange one just because I can. And then I'm going to make some little, let me see if this would pop in. Are these done enough yet? They aren't quite done enough. No, nope, they're not quite done enough. But then, like I'll show you next week, I make these little ones and then I put it in the top. And then, you know what I'm saying? And then you've got a you've got a pattern in it. So to make some more little ones that we could set out. I like the flower ones. The flower ones make me happy. Can you see me? Can you see me pour? Oh, that's in the way. Can you see me pour? I'll pour into the flower ones. You can see. So I'm pouring some of this into the flower ones. It just like that. And this is shiny. I like this. Shiny, 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 happy people. Oh, we're almost to the end. So next week, I'll let you know who our winners were from this week. So make sure you come back. And um, yeah, I'll just make these. And then uh, we're about ready to end the show. Oh my gosh, you guys, thank you for sharing your Saturday night with me. This has been so fun. I literally have not done a YouTube live stream yet. So this is like, the, you got to tell me if you liked what you saw. Don't forget to go watch those other videos. So here's the deal. Um, make sure you subscribe and uh, that you turn on your notifications button. So you know the next time I'm live because you never know what you're going to see in between, right? Every Saturday, I'm going to try to do a cooking and crafts live stream in between. You never know what you're going to catch. You never know. So turn on those notifications, the notification bell. Um, so here's a time where I'm going to shout out a couple of people and uh, remind you that if you commented early and you comment at the end, you have a chance to win a piece of merch. I will let you know the winner next week. If the winner is on here, we will reach out to you and you will we will get your info so we can send that out to you. Um, <clears throat> so the first person I have to shout out is, uh, wait, uh, she's on my, oh, she's on there. We're going to let this go for a minute. Okay. Hope y'all enjoyed this. Go to YouTube. Bye. Okay. So I'm getting out of this one and I have two people to shout out. It's on my phone. I forgot it was going to be on my, on YouTube or on TikTok. Okay. So I'm going to my photos and uh, I'm shouting out and I hope you are here doll because Layla, you have to know that I get a lot of hate messages. I've gotten hate from parents and everything just for trying to like spread positivity, um, you know, positive parenting. Right. And then I've gotten hate for political views. I've gotten hate for a lot of things. Um, and that's what happens when people kind of like start to, people start to notice who you are. Um, so let me ask them if you have, oh, specific questions about recipes and what I should make next week. Yes. And then anyone answering that question or giving comments should answer while waiting. Oh yeah. I got that. Right, right, right. So make sure that you let me know. Um, let me know what you want to let me know what you want to see next week. And don't forget to turn on the notification button. But here's the deal. Um, so I'm shouting out Layla because Layla sent me this beautiful, sweet message that was just like, you know what? I understand that, you know, 
people are hating on you right now, but I want you to know that you have helped me so much. And, you know, I didn't get on social media to hurt anyone. I got on social media to sort of share the lessons that I have learned in life. And, you know, not everybody fits for you. If I'm not a fit for you, that's okay. But if I'm a fit for you and I have done what Layla has said, then, you know, this is the place for you. I can't tell you how many like packages I've sent out, how much free stuff I've sent out because I'm a compassionate human being who just, you know, wants to share what I've learned with others. Now that's my little message to Layla. And Layla, you have no idea how much your message meant to me, especially this week. The other person, so here's your treat. <clears throat> All right, there's a request. I'm not gonna sing the whole song, but Natalia, it's like Natalia underscore 15 underscore. But anyway, Natalia, I have to, I have to tell you that I'm singing Taylor the Latte Boy, here's the song request. So this is the shout out request to Natalia. She's been around for a long time and she follows me pretty closely. So Natalia, you're getting Taylor the Latte Boy. Anybody else who wanted that? And <clears throat> like, here we go. So if you want to check out, you want to hear Taylor the Latte Boy, I guess now's your cute loo, but don't forget to turn on that notifications button. So here's Taylor the Latte Boy for Natalia and all the rest of you who have joined me. I love this song. Are you ready? <clears throat> I don't know if I can sing tonight. I better get some Diet Coke in me. I love Diet Coke. I drink like eight of these a day. Okay, maybe five. I got to start low enough. I can sing it all. <clears throat> okay. There's a boy who works at Starbucks who is very inspirational. He is very inspirational because of many things. I come in at 811 and he smiles and says, how are you? When he smiles and says, how are you? I guess to where my heart grows on wings. So today at 811, I decided I should meet him. I decided I should meet him in a proper formal way. So today at 811, when he smiled and said, how are you? I said, fine. And my name's Kristen. And he softly answered, hey. And I said, my name was Kristen. And thank you for the extra foam. And he said his name was Taylor, which provides the inspiration for this poem. Taylor the Latte Boy, bring me Java, bring me joy. Oh, Taylor the Latte Boy. I love him. I love him. I love him. Wow. I can tell my allergies are messed up. I couldn't hit a couple of notes. But Natalia, that is just for you. Anyway, thank you all for being here and for joining me. Make sure you comment what you'd like to see next time. I'm guessing I'm going to be making some calzones. That's what it seems like. I'm going to be thinking some calzones. Uh, hugs to all of you. Josh, hugs to you. Michael, hugs to you. Josh has been very positive. Josh, oh my gosh, Josh, I'm shouting you out. Josh, you are such a sweetheart. Um, Brian said you've been very positive during this live stream. Yeah, I like that. Thank you, Josh, for joining us. And who else? Allison. Hi, Allison. Allison Shannon. Allison Shannon. Thank you for joining us. Make sure you come back. Drama Lopez. I've seen you a couple times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back. We'll do, we'll do how zones. Anna Plum. Anna. O'Brien says I'm supposed to shout out Anna. You guys follow each other. Anna, that's so sweet of you. Anna. Oh, that's so kind. Layla, was that you? I see Layla. I shouted you out. I told you I love that message. Y'all be kind and loving to one another. And remember, at the end of the day, every single one of us is just a human trying to get along in this big world that we live in. Life gets tough. But no matter what happens to you, it's how you respond to what happens to you that shows your true character. And, you know, we don't always do the right thing in life. But what matters is that we pick ourselves up. And we move forward. So you go do you and be the best you that you can be. Maybe try some of this stuff. I'm going to try to post lists of what you might need. So if you want to cook with me um, or make things with me, I'm going to try to start posting lists on Instagram so that y'all uh, have access to what you might need to like participate as we go forward. But okay, y'all, I, I just loved having you here with me. You precious people over there in the comments, I'm sending much love your way and I'm going to get out of this live stream, but make sure you come back next Saturday. Make sure you're following 
you know, subscribing to my channel and watching the vids and, you know, hugs y'all. All right. I'm outie. I'm outie. I'm outie. Bye. Uh, hold up. Let's see what Jean says. Woo! Ouch. You okay? Yeah.